Today's video was made for the 30 day map challenge day 23. The theme was process and I'm going to show you how to create a visualization of flow direction with arrows in 3D. And uh, that of course shows the processes at the surface that are related to water. I'm going to first style the DEM. I use a color ramp from CPT City. You can choose any of these uh, that you find suitable. I'm going for the SDA and click classify to apply the ramp. Then I duplicate the raster and this one I'm going to style as a hill shade. So I'm going to rename it to hill shade. And I change it to the hill shade renderer. We need to tweak the settings a little bit to make it smoother. So I apply some resampling and also check this box for early resampling. And now it looks nicer. I switch on the other raster and uh, just make sure that that's the active one. And I change it to multiply blending and there it blends nicely the colors with the hill shade. And this will be our background. Next, I'm going to calculate the flow directions and there's a new native tool that is based on the Saga Phil Sings Wang and Liu algorithm. And you can find it in the processing toolbox. You need to define the DTM and add a minimum slope in degrees. It works better with 0.01 for most areas. I skip the output for the Phil DEM because I'm only interested in the flow directions. And I choose save to file. And here I save a GeoTIFF with the flow directions. Then I run the algorithm and here's the result styled with a single band gray and uh, the values of the flow directions are encoded in the Saga encoding system and in another video I explain how this works. And uh, here I'm going to use the Crayfish plugin to convert the flow direction result from Saga to a mesh file. So install the Crayfish plugin from the plugins manager. And then in the processing toolbox, go to Crayfish, Conversions, and then Saga Flow to Grip. Choose as an input raster the flow direction, and as the output grip file, write a name. Here I call it Flow Deer Mesh, and I run it. This created the mesh. It's not automatically loaded. You need to refresh the browser panel, and there you can expand flow their mesh and drag the mesh layer to the map canvas. It will take some time to load. Once it's loaded, you'll see a yellow map in the map canvas. Open the styling panel and uncheck the contour and check the arrows. And then we're going to set the arrows with a fixed arrow length. Let's try first two. It's a bit of trial and error depending on the pixel size and the zoom level. Because if I zoom in more, you'll see more details, but uh, I see also the uh, flow direction raster is uh, still on. That has to be switched off because I want my arrows on top of the styled DEM. So I fix the arrows to a grid. If I make it coarser, then I can also use uh, larger arrows and uh, I can also change the color. Let's use some uh, water related blue. Here we can change the line width, change it to uh, what works best at your zoom level and your area of interest. And now we can visualize this in 3D using the 3D view. Go to View, 3D Map Views, New 3D Map View. Go to the settings, choose for the terrain a raster, that's our DTM raster. And we're going to change the tile resolution to have better results, to a higher resolution. And let's uh, check the result here. You can even tweak it further and uh, make better visualizations, but this already shows the flow direction in arrows, which is useful for water-related processes or uh, gravity-related processes at the surface. <laughs> 